I just want to take a sec to talk about fishing lures. So this weekend, I uh, so on that fishing trip, I caught my first pike. So that was amazing. So I wanted to just talk about the lures I used so I didn't forget. Um, not to be underestimated are these little spoons. This one is a little wiggler. It's called the Little Cleo. And it's just like a green and silver. And it has this scoop. So it doesn't actually like uh, spin like a regular spoon. It kind of falls and flutters. And I guess it's supposed to look like an injured small fish. So it doesn't look like much, right? It's just like a flashy spoon. But in the water, it looks delicious to a pike. And I discovered something cool about this lure, some history. It's actually called Little Cleo because it was named after a dancer in the 1930s. They used to have her image, like a drawing of her, stamped on the back. And it was like a topless image back in like the 1950s, I think, when they first started making these. But what's funny is that some lady complained about the female image on it, topless Little Cleo image. And so they removed it and they pulled them from shelves. And I think they're still making these, but they they stopped production and they did a whole new kind of line without the topless belly dancer on it. So I thought that was some cool history for just like a little simple lure. I caught the most pike on this, this little Cleo. So I thought that was neat. Uh, the next thing I used was this guy and it's a lucky strike. I also caught another pike on this. I kind of was just doing like a trial and error thing, so we were doing, we we're fishing in like the weeds. These have a treble hook. So, I mean, if you're fishing in weeds, they're all gonna get caught. So, uh, especially with this guy, because it's smaller, I kind of, uh, I didn't let it drop as long. I would cast, and then I would maybe wait like half a second and then start to like fish it. Um, and that definitely helped with the weed cover. And that's where all the pike were. They were in like this, those uh, small lilies. Another lure I want to talk about, totally unrelated, but I was just so excited for it, is my <laughs> poppin' frog. No, it's not a poppin' frog. It's a compact frog. And I was talking about this thing for like four weeks around my house, and I was annoying everyone. But uh, yeah, it's just a frog, hollow body frog. And it's weedless, so these hooks are like hidden along the side. See that? Some crazy uh, drama going on over there. Uh, so yeah, they're like hidden alongside. So what the, you fish in the weeds, you can fish as much as you want. They won't get tangled in the weeds. They won't hook the weeds. But when the fish bite, the hooks, focusing, the hooks will protrude and then it'll get snagged. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so when I was fishing in the weeds, I got probably like three or four really good hits on this. And that's a good thing about top water is like you get to see like that bubble up and that like splash. And that's why I was like so pumped for it. But um, I got three hits and fish grabbed it, took it under. You could feel them pulling it down. And then I guess for whatever reason, wasn't set properly or they just didn't like the taste, but they just would spit it. So right after I uh, tried to set it, they got off. So all three of them or four of them or whatever. But anyway, it was cool to see it actually work. Uh, so that, anyway, this is the compact frog from Lunker Hunt, other ones. But anyway, a little bit about lures. Pretty, pretty uh, interesting, especially the little Cleo, the history on that. Um, wiggle. Wegla. And then the top water, totally different. But um, anyway, I was I wanted to share that because I never caught a pike. So that was pretty cool. Anyway, that's it for that. <laughs>